Welcome back guys. In our last video we covered the topics of operator in python and in this video we are going to cover a new topic which is known as shorthand if else. So let's begin this video. So guys in our last video we had completed all the topics of operators and without wasting time I am going to create a new python file with name of short as the topic of this video is shorthand if else statement in python okay so uh, why we use shorthand if else and what is the meaning of shorthand if else uh, i will tell you the concept of this video with the help of a simple and basic example let's take a value a and we will take the value of a from the user input enter value of a Similarly, I will just copy this line and uh, just write this line for B. Okay, without wasting any time, I am just changing the variables from A to B. And uh, you need to check whether a number is greater and whether a number is small. So you use if statement for this. If A is greater than B, print uh, A is greater than B. Okay, and uh, you will take another case for else statement, whether it is equal or not, print A is smaller than B. Okay, we are not taking the case of equal here because I will not uh, move on to else statement. This is for shorthand if else. Okay, so when you have two conditions, you need to use if else and you can see I had used the statement if else in four lines, but with the help of shorthand if else, you can simply do this code in a single line. This is the reason why it's known as shorthand if else. So I'm just commenting out this state four line statement and taking extra line space. And I will now uh, I will try to write the statement like print. Just I will uh, simply write this, this statement which is written here. And without uh, wasting any time, I can I'm going to write it here. Print a is greater than b. And after that, you need to write the condition if a greater than b. Okay and now uh, this statement will run for this line okay when we will run this code you can see it wait a second wait a second okay i just by mistake run a wrong program i want to go for the short okay it is taking time for indexing and it will okay let's complete the code first i will use else here and after taking the value of else, I will just write the print statement tag. Like print a is smaller than b. The first, the same code which we had written upwards. Okay. Just right click on the page and run short. You can see it demands the value of a. Uh, I will enter the value of a as 12. Value of b 14. Here b is greater than a. You will see a is smaller than b. Okay. I had just means this part of the code has been run at this condition when b is greater you can check whether the with the value of a making it greater a is equal to 14 b is equal to 12 you can see a is greater than b so this statement of line of code runs here at this condition so you can see when where we are using four lines of statement four lines of code for running this simple operation with the help of shorthand if else i just completed the same for a uh, code in just three lines means one line is here and two lines for this okay so this is used to just uh, create small code means small type of code when you used to create big programs for like games and projects you do you need just you, you need to think as a little smarter way and this shorthand if else method is a bit smarter way for you guys Okay guys, uh, that's it for this video. If you like the concept of shorthand if has, make sure to like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification icon so that you get notified for upcoming videos. And if you're not visited my website, you can visit my website from the link given in the description of this video and the link of the website is codemadeeasy.in. You can also search it on YouTube, uh, Google Chrome or any browser video you are using. You can know about me, you can access my youtube course by just clicking on hit this youtube option name and you can also browse my video course you can follow me on instagram you can follow my page on instagram you can follow my twitter handle you can follow my facebook page and this is for my youtube okay
you can also read my latest blog which i had uploaded on my website and you can easily get in touch with me by just entering a, your name your email id and your message if you need any had any queries you can contact me through this and i will reply as soon as possible when i receive your message and these are my personal handle and the above handles are for my page my youtube and my page okay these are my personal handle you can also make follow me and if you want a website like this you can contact avi.code.byteaderatgmail.com as he designed this website okay so you can easily contact him for a website and recently i had completed one year on youtube journey on this 18th of july so it's been a great and good journey for me and i hope that you guys are always also liking this con type of content which i am providing to you so do drop a like and if you have any queries make sure to ask in the comment box and if you really like the video make sure to give a comment about the video thank you and keep supporting